In this section, we're going to look at text wrapping. Now, what I've got here is basically one enormously long paragraph, just to uh, illustrate what we're going to do. And what I want to do is I'll click here at the beginning of this sentence here, and I'm going to insert a picture. So I go to Insert, Pictures, select the picture you want. I'll go for this one here, click on Insert, and there we go. Now, as you know, you can just simply resize the pictures by dragging the handles here. So I'll drag the handle, so it's something like that. And if I just click away from it for a moment, as you can see, I've inserted the picture, but that picture sort of forms part of that paragraph, if you like. You know, I can go here if you want, and I can uh, press the space bar, so that looks slightly, different, slightly better. But it'd be really nice, maybe, if the text would wrap around this picture. And there's various ways of doing that. So if I double click on the picture here, up here you've got this option. Uh, this is within the, um, the picture tools formatting uh, bar here. So if I click on where it says wrap text, I've got various options. As you can see, the default in this case is inlined with text. But if I just move down, can you see the difference? That's what it looked like before. That's what square looks like. If I click on tight, basically it just means you've got smaller spaces around it. And if I go down here to things like top and bottom, then as you can see, it's separated on a line of its own, or I can go to behind text. Uh, in this case, with this picture, it's quite a dark picture and the text is dark, so it's kind of hard to read that. But if you had a, a sort of watermark picture or, or a picture with very light colors, that could look okay. Or alternatively, if I click here, or just move down to here, this is the in front of text option, and as you can see, it's over the text. Trouble is, you can't see what's behind the text, so in this particular case, that's not a great option. So let's go back, that was the original, in line with text, square, tight, through, top and bottom, behind text, and in front of text. So that's one way of doing it. Um, if you like sort of shortcuts, you can right click on the picture, then go to wrap text, and then you've got those same options, as you can see. So let's go for the square option here. As you can see, if I click outside this, that's now been set, and the text wraps around it. If I go somewhere else down here, I can repeat the same thing with a different picture. So I'll insert a picture. So I click on insert, go to picture, find an image, insert, resize it so uh, you know, it's uh, somewhat more manageable. I have something like that. And again, I can go to where it says wrap text up here and I can choose various options. In this case, we'll go for a tight option. So if you look at those two, I think it's fairly obvious that this is like a, a tighter wrap than this one up here. Now what we've done so far is using presets. If I double click on this picture and then go back to where it says wrap text here, you'll find there is a, a more options or more layout options section here. If I click on that, and just drag that to one side so we can see what's going on. You can see you've got these same options here. So for instance, you could go to um, behind text like this or in front of text. And when you click on OK, that would apply the effect. If I choose some other options from the more layout options dialog box here, as you can see, you've got um, ways of controlling the way it wraps. So you can have both sides. You can have left only, right only or sort of largest only, depending which is going to be the largest one. So if I go for uh, both sides here, let's say you want to set the different the distance from the text here, I could increase this to maybe, um, say, one and a half centimeters, like so, and I'll do that for all of them. Obviously, if your system was using um, inches, then this would be inches rather than centimeters, but you get the idea, it's the same thing. So as, as you can see, you've got various options here. The types of wrapping style, um, how you want it to wrap, and you've got the distance. So in this case, I'm setting it to 1.5, and as you can see, we've got a huge sort of um, exclusion space around the picture as opposed to the default one here. Obviously, if you wanted to make that smaller, you could do that by um, going back to more layout options. And let's say you wanted to take it down to say something more manageable, like uh, one centimeter. You do this. Click on OK. 
and then you get a smaller sort of wrapping area here, a you know, blank area. So that's how you wrap pictures. Now we can apply wrapping to other types of objects. So in this case, what I've got is a diagram. And if I click within this, and then go to the Layout tab, and then click on where it says Wrap Text, within there, as you can see, if I move down here, you can apply the same sort of thing. So you could have behind text, uh, in front of text, you could have tight, you could have a square. So let's go for square and click outside it. And as you can see, it now wraps around this diagram. In this example here, I've got a table I've inserted. So if I right click on the table here and then go to where it says table properties, from here I can control the alignment and text wrapping here. So for instance, if I want uh, to click on where it says around and then confirm that, as you can see, the text now wraps around this table. Here's another example, and I've inserted some auto shapes into this document. So if I right click on this uh, auto shape here, you can see you've got wrap text. And again, if I move down, you can have inline, you can have square. So I'll make that one a square. This one here, or we'll click on it, right click, go to where it says wrap text. And in this case, we'll go for top and bottom. So that'll look like, like that. And then finally, this one here, again, we'll click on it, right click, go to where it says wrap text, and we'll make this one behind text, like so. So as you can see, the document now looks radically different from when we started. There's one more here. Let's go and do that one here. So we'll go and wrap text, and we'll do this one um, in front of text. As you can see, not a great idea that because if we drag it around, and remember these are auto shapes, so you can just drag them, um, it obscures everything behind it. Mm -hmm.